Hi guys, welcome back to Factoria, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think I actually might start going to just robot worker speed, because I... I know I was doing like some flamethrower damage shit, but... I figure this is the time. Anyways, uh, so this episode we're gonna be spending a bit of time making some... Uh, random things that we need to have... Particularly in the realm of... Uh, inserters and stuff, because... Uh, someone kind of dropped the ball on the inserter stuff. That would be me. Control question, what the fuck? Uh, it's not needed. Wow, we're basically reaching the top of our base here. That's fine. To be honest though, Fa Factorio is very much a, ba uh, a game about getting the science. Uh, usually, at, at, if you're like done with that, you have different goals, but... We'll never be done with science, guys. We'll never be done. Anyways, alright, so we got inserters. Um... I don't know how to do this. One, two, three, something like this. So we're gonna make inserters because I'm tired of crafting them myself. So this is kind of the way we do this, sort of like this. Uh, apparently I am lacking in one of these. Alright, so long arm inserters up here. So long arm inserters use regular inserters as well as that. And nothing builds from long arm inserters, so we just do that. And then we have iron plates over here and some other shit. And also, I think I made this too close. So, ignore everything I just did. Putting it slightly further back. That's something like right here. Out of the way myself. God. Alright, so do something like this. Uh, so, fast stores require iron plates, electronic circuits. Um... Fucking, this inserter requires, uh, uh, what's this one? Uh, this one needs advanced circuit and, uh, more electronic ones. Uh, the one up here needs just some more green ones. So obviously, you know, we just kind of go like, oh, hey, look how that works out. It's beautiful. So, and then we have, uh, what are, what's this one? Oh, yeah, filter inserter. And then... Oh, filter inserter isn't actually required for anything here. So we don't have to care too much about that. And then we have long arm inserters as well. Alright. So, simple, simple stuff. Uh, for the most part. Um, I will have to figure out how to bring gears and other stuff over. We're just doing this because, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm kind of sick and tired of bringing this stuff over to myself all the time. So we'll have it come right over here. Actually, it's fine like that. Ah, it doesn't actually go that far. Uh, so we're gonna do something right here. Actually, no, we're gonna actually do it one more space down. Because we need it to be like that. This is something that's been a kind of a long time in the making. Because, yeah, I, I, I don't know. We got time now. Like, we got, we got what we need, right? So, might as well. Like this is this is actually the best time to make this kind of stuff. All right. So we we don't really need like a huge efficiency with regards to this stuff, but yeah, looks like red chips are becoming a problem. Why is red chips becoming a problem? Uh, let's see here. It seems to be getting enough plastic. It's getting a bit of everything, but you know what it is? It's because we're using more uh, we're using more red chips all of a sudden, like because we just upgraded this line, so that's also an issue. Uh, highly unfortunate for myself, but that's okay. We'll, uh, I'll bring this through here. This this thing doesn't need anything crazy. I think it just needs green chips, right? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend that's the case. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, continue to belt it over. This is the only thing that actually requires this kind of stuff, so... Uh, yeah. Alright, so... We'll make this very simple. Some yellow inserters here. And probably some blue arm inserters, at least for this stuff. And then it'll have probably some more yellow inserters somewhere else, but yeah. Because we just, I don't know, I, I, I want to have some boxes full of this stuff, you know? Instead of, like, I keep taking that out of, like, some weird boxes somewhere else, you know, all the time. Alright, so we're gonna have a, one more box here. 
So once again, we, we're not going to fill this up to the max. We're just going to probably have one stack all the time. So we actually don't need that much. All right, we got a red inserter somewhere here. You know, I actually could have done it like that. Well, now I'm sad. Uh, now I could have actually had this down here, but fine. At this point, I've committed to this stupid layout that I've done, so it could have it could have been amazing, guys. I just need no, it doesn't need anything here. What does this need? Green chips again. Wow, it actually did, totally didn't need any of this. Well, ripperonis. Who's done this? Actually, we can still just do this. All right, let's just pretend this was the plan all along. All right, so let's get some inserters to grab resources. Does this need anything? It needs gears, but that's fine. It's easy to get. Uh, we're gonna get some more of this stuff. This is the last time we're gonna have to make these manual. Well, probably not the last time, but you know, one more, just so I can have a bunch of these with me. All right. All right there. Simple. All right, that's also we'll need some green chips. All right, that's simple as well. There you go. So what's this missing? This is missing some why isn't oh because the blue inserter is faster than that one well i mean it's fine we can just leave it like this actually wait no it, i think it made it. it just has no box to put it into that's what the problem is Oops. we just want one and what's this one missing this one's not getting anything from over here but it also doesn't have any red circuits because this line isn't coming in. And there you go. Very simple. That's all we do. So this now makes every single inserter that we could possibly need under the sun. And I'll keep it kind of saturated and that's fine. The last thing we need to kind of make is uh, robo ports. So that needs steel, uh, iron plates. So we can maybe make that down at the end here, I think. I mean, we really can't. See, I, we have a nice line of iron plates and and gears here, but we'd have to divert it up, which actually I'm willing to do, so. Luckily we made it in such a way where we can facilitate that. So this is also something that we're gonna need. I also probably should take another stack of this stuff. So we're gonna also now fix up some other stuff, but yeah, we need to make robo ports. We're robo ports, we're gonna need those. So. It's unfortunately also will require a great deal of everything, pretty much. What does it need? You have 45 advanced circuits, like just stupid amounts of resources uh, for this stuff. But that's why we kind of make it kind of, it's going to just, whoops, it's going to just worry about itself. I, I don't have to really care about it. I don't know how many boxes we're going to need of this stuff, but let's say three stacks of it for now. All right, so now we can just leave this alone. All right, we're done with that. Um, the only thing we're gonna do now is I think we're gonna make a we're gonna extend the line for this stuff here because I think it's just not making chips fast enough. But luckily uh, we did make it copy and pasteable, so that's nice for us. Um, so we're starting to get to a point where we're actually using utilizing more of our resources here. So so let's copy a new blueprint. Actually, wait, no. Oh. Let's uh, make this go further down. Uh, something like that. So this is simple to do-ish. Uh, hopefully that's all I need. Um, kind of is. It's kind of weird because there's like one space of a gap here. And I can tell you why, well, no, I can't tell you why that is. I don't know why there's one space of a gap, because, yeah, it needs to be that far away. Huh. Can I make it any closer? I think I can make it closer, actually. I think I may not have made this 100% efficiently before.
inventory. Hey, you know what? I like science. Cannot insert fast insert a player inventory is full. I'll just take those then. Alright, so if we move this slightly further down. Maybe that's better? I don't know. I mean, the other thing is I should probably replace all these power poles with something that actually it makes sense. Because something that I actually build. Because if we keep using wooden poles and every time... Oh, the entire factory apparently runs on that pole. Well then. Well then. Yeah, we'll just do something like that. Alright, so this is a bit more copy and paste, but where is the layouts here? Okay, well... Fuck, I just want to open these. Okay, apparently I'm... I, actually, that's the blueprint thing. Alright, let's delete that. Um, this would be the, the big book of bullshittery. Alright, so let's see if that works out a little bit better. That looks pretty good. That looks very good. Alright, so that's all we do. And so we can extend this as many times as we like as well. So that's that's very nice too. So it looks like all the copper is coming through as well. Uh, we've run out of um, blue inserters and stuff. What else did we run out of? We can also get some more stuff from the top. So we'll just uh, we'll head over here. We'll get some stuff over here. We need, we kind of need assembling machines. We're we're not quite at the point where we can we can wean ourselves off of those yet. All right, so uh, luckily now, basically take half a stack of these. We can take a stack of long arm inserters, stack of these. Like it just it just kind of made everything for us. Like it's so freaking great. I'm not sure why this is a problem now though. What is it? What do you still need? You need gears, huh? I was gonna give this what it needs here. Yeah, gears, once again, not coming down the line, but that's our next objective, actually, is to upgrade that. Where's our car at? Where is our wheels? It's down <laughs> all the way down there. All right, that's why we kind of tried to use our car to get around the base, but uh, I guess that didn't happen, did it? So, um, this is why we call Factorio. Factorio is actually Factorio the Quest for More Iron. That's what the game's official name uh, before uh, the developers changed it. Uh, well, at least Death World is, sorry. Alright, so... Seven turrets engaged with the enemy. So, okay, we're pretty good here. Um, so now this is gonna essentially double our chip production. Unfortunately, it would appear that I didn't actually copy and paste it right, because... It actually should be like this. Whoopsies. Alright, we could probably get rid of these trees. They're in the way. So we don't really need many more... Uh, of these guys though, I think. I think this is enough uh, plastic bars for us for a very long time. So we're good for that. Get rid of this though. Alright, let's see what we can get rid of here. We can get rid of some coal. Alright. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. I'm just trying to free up inventory space for garbage like these things. Um, alright, so let's go get some belts. Uh, so we're no longer taking belts off this line. And we're gonna see. Oh, so yeah, I, I actually meant to last time show you guys how productivity modules work. Um, so I made like, I made a bare basic one somewhere. Yeah, there's one. There's a productivity module level one. And um, I'll actually go through all the modules. Actually, we got a bit of a time to explain, I guess, uh, how those work. So this is how it usually works. So let's say you have something like this minor thing here. I take the productivity module. Okay, it's only usable on intermediate products. That's important. So, the thing about uh, miners is that are miners used to make anything else? Well, they technically are. They're used to make blue science, but for some reason, it doesn't count as an intermediate product. I'm not, I'm not really sure why. But if I put it into, let's say, this one, okay, it's not usable in that either. What the hell can I use it in? Okay, apparently, I can use it in engine units. So, it has now slowed down the machine by 15%. Increase the productivity by 4% and pollution by 5% and the energy consumption is through the roof. So com comparatively, this one generates 3.5 pollution, this one generates 2.4. This one has a power drain of uh, 209 kilowatts, this one has a power drain of uh, 150 kilowatts. So you can see there's a number of reasons why I haven't been using this stuff uh, for the time being. But you saw a purple bar, right? At the end of the purple bar, it would essentially make an extra engine unit. 
And the same actually applies, I think, for the science machines. If I go ahead and put something into the science machines, I think it'll, uh, I think they would go faster. Yeah, you can, you can proactively module these two. So that's kind of how that, that's how that works. Uh, we don't productivity module everything. And I, a lot of people actually do that in this game. They just, they productivity module the shit out of things. The only reason we don't is because our end goal is, as I said, launch the rocket. Productivity modules cost a lot. Like, in terms of, uh, wow, I have a lot of advanced circuits, don't I? I don't know when I got all this. I think I was making nuclear stuff. Um, so in terms of just raw resources for a lot of the stuff, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty dank, let me tell you, but, uh, it, like, I, I can't tell you the raw costs, but, like, you kind of look at it, five advanced circuits, five electronic circuits, that's a shit ton of copper for that one thing, so we, we really pick and choose what we want, and I think the things that we mostly want is, like, things like the science machines, so if I put one in here right now, yeah, you can, it works on that, it works on this, it's, and it's, it's tough. But there's other kinds of modules too. There's efficiency modules and there's also speed modules. So efficiency modules decrease the energy consumption, which it's actually wonderful in miners. You don't actually need to get more than level one in mining. And I was actually considering to get that because I was thinking if my pollution cloud was uh, went low enough, I wouldn't care about, I would basically fill these up with efficiency modules and then the pollution cloud would get even less dense. Um, I don't think that's going to happen uh, for this run. Um, I think that's not a possibility, uh, so I think that, I think no matter what I do, I think that pollution cloud is gonna just be there, and it's gonna be a stain on our reality, but that's, that's how it goes. Oh well. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, and the second thing, uh, that I was gonna go over, uh, oh yeah, the speed modules is the last thing. So speed modules, okay, so, you can either, you can either have things, uh, Use less energy. There's no downside to it. Uh, as I said, it just uses module slots. And you've noticed I've had it. I have it in most things. I don't have it in. Um, I don't have it in the coal burning furnaces, as you can see, like right here. There's no efficiency modules I can put in there. That would make really sense, anyways. Um, but like, let's say something like the crude oil, right? So the crude oil actually has a bit of an efficiency bar here, but. Um, the thing, the thing about the way it works is so, um, efficiency modules, or sorry, efficiency modules are good for things that you want to keep the power low, the power draw low. Um, the speed modules, which increases the speed of a machine by 20% and eventually all the way down to, I think, like, uh, if I actually go look at it, um, it will, the, when you get number threes, it's, um, energy consumption 70%, but speed is 50%. So that will increase the speed drastically. And remember, you can put more than one. You can put like probably like two or three or four in some, some machines. And productivity modules increase productivity by like ten percent stuff. So every like ten products, it makes one additional one. So the way it works is speed modules are good if the resources are infinite. So for example, pump jacks would actually be the best thing for speed modules. They're actually really good for speed modules. So you, once the once the uh, pump jacks get to the minimum, you put speed modules in them, you get more out of it. It's not not so shabby. Uh, things like, uh, let me think, let me think here, uh, of some other ones. Um, do I have more cargo trains? I do. I do indeed. Uh, things like, so basically productivity modules are good for everything. It's just a matter of, do you want to sink the resources into that stuff, you know? Because it may not be great for certain things. Um, like you could put it into, let's say the line I have of, um, copper cables, let's say over here, I can put them in there, but like you're, you're sinking a lot of resources into, into that. And that means I have to basically then go out and go get more copper for it, you know? So it's, there's a, there is a diminishing return on, on this kind of stuff. Um, so that's that one. Uh, and so you want to use it on stuff like that. And efficiency modules are good if you just want to stay green. That's it. That's how this works. So here's what we're gonna do. This is our train. This is the new trains, the new ones. They're brand spanking new. All right. So what we're, what are we gonna do with this? So we're gonna have it go, uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, it did copy over the orders, but um, I'm gonna call this one iron new. Hopefully at some point I can just rename it, but you know how that goes. 
All right, so Iron New is here. So I can't really just tell it to do anything, so I'm just gonna tell it to go there. All right, delete that. Hopefully the plan is that we'll just kind of delete them and stuff, so. And we need to make the color appropriate. Otherwise, old people think of us. All right, so this is our new um, Iron Trains. Welcome to the new Iron Trains, and this is how we're gonna unload them. Um, I haven't quite decided if this is the best way of doing this, but uh, hey, you know what? Um, you guys fucking love my science, so. All right, so what are we missing right now? Three more filter inserters and three more boxes. Is there any reason why there's nothing over here? Was that just not a part of my layout here? It may not have been. All right, I'm still locking them to iron ore because I, I mean, to be honest, it's not a big difference between this stuff, anyways. But I think actually, I think we may not need that. To be to be honest, did I do that over here too? Yeah, I did. But the thing is, the train never picks up anything else. Uh, I think we don't need it to be like that. I think it just needs to concern itself with ore. So maybe we'll do that actually. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Maybe we should swing by and grab some more stuff, because we want to copy and paste this maybe a few times. Maybe. So we're going to swing by and get that. Hopefully I'm not going to run into anything. It's looking pretty good. So you can see the uh, stone is completely stopped. We can have it build some more walls, which actually isn't a bad idea. It's used for the stone, and this is actually not the place we want to be. So we're making our new furnace layouts now. Uh, it's going to replace this stuff here that I made. It's unfortunate, I kind of made that one to last, but then I ended up actually not using it, so. Uh, yeah, I know, I know the bots just fucked off, but you know, that's not much we can do. Sometimes, sometimes bots don't like you. All right, so, all right, so over here, I guess I'll make another, so make a, Maybe here to just take stone in and put it into a box somewhere. Yeah, you go build some walls. Yeah, just do that. There you go. There you go. This now it's gonna make walls forever, so now we don't have to worry about that. And robo ports, we got seven of them, that's nice. Robo ports will come in handy as well. Robo ports will definitely come in handy, but we have a gear problem. Like, I acknowledge this gear problem. Uh, but we will be fixing that soon. What else was I coming up here for? Oh, we were coming up here for uh, inserters. I remember now. Where are my inserters? There you go. Eight more stack inserters. Excellent. It's just running out of everything, so that's fine. Like, like I said, like, it's just, it's it's a huge resource drain, a lot of this stuff. It's, there's nothing we can do. Alright, so that's good enough. I don't, I don't ever think we're gonna need more than this, but yeah. Alright, so that's good. Um, oh, well, no, no, of course we're gonna need more than this, but yeah, whatever, fuck you. Alright, now let's go back to where we were earlier. So I, I, I know I made all these filter inserters and I mean probably I should actually just keep it that way because uh, simply just because of all the ones I did make but I feel like it's so inefficient okay fuck it we're just gonna keep it that way actually you know what I just decided this now executive decision fuckers I don't, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do something different with these trains but uh, we're gonna just go on the assumption that maybe we will all right so here's stop number one uh, apparently Stop number one needs to chill the fuck out. I guess we could also use some lights here. Or one light. A light. Actually, just one over here. So, this is all it needs for these stops. It's just to come out like this. It's all that's required. So, these will come out as if they're on yellow belts, right? And then it will have a inserter like this. But the unfortunate part is that when I copy and paste this over, it's probably not going to look nearly as good. 
Probably should copy over the station, but I don't have a station. All right, yeah, now we have a station. All right, so this is kind of the plan for this. Yeah, it seems about right. What do you need? You need a lot of uh, these things. Probably should have picked up more wilds up there, but that's okay. How much we can do about that? Oh my God, we went through all our fast inserters already. If only there was some place where I was building this stuff to begin with. And wow, that just goes right into that, doesn't it? All right, so luckily, as I, like I said, luckily it's pretty easy how this is gonna kind of work out. It's probably gonna just work out like this. Same deal here. So we we the whole point is we're gonna try and get these little fuckers onto a fast belt, and uh, once they get onto fast belts. We can bring them all the way down there. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's that's beautiful. That's the thing of beauty right here. That's how we want it to look. So it's going to unload all the belts. Apparently we need a lot of iron chests. Apparently I don't have any of these either. My god, I was just up there getting resources. This is why... We're going to fix this later, by the way. We're going to fix this to the, the magic of bots. This kind of resource gathering crap. Because I can't keep track of every single thing I need. I'm not a soothsayer. Let's get copy it all. Okay, so those these are our two lines of uh, of a shit ton of things. And uh, as you can see, like our our whoops, oh, whoa, where'd that oil pump come from? Someone pulled that our oil pump over. Ask it how fast it was going. All right. Uh, that's kind of how that works. So these trains are eventually going to be useless because it's like... Whatever. Yeah, let's do your thing. So we're, we're trying to, we're trying to basically, our, our end goal here is to up our, our, our iron production. So we have like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how many lines we have and how many we're going to eventually have. Because that's an uh, important thing. Alright, how many rebels do I have? I have a ton. So let's just bring some more filter stack inserters. Let's bring some fast inserters. Anything else? Yeah, we're gonna definitely need more of these. Actually, I should have like two stacks of this, honestly. Did I remove the box here that was making the other ones? The important questions I ask. Uh, it would appear that I did not, thank goodness. All right, we don't need you anymore. We'll just do that. All right, and probably should get rid of the other stuff that I had. We don't need pipes for any of this. We don't need, well, we can maybe use lights. Actually, we should use lights. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take another stack. I'm gonna take another stack. I'm just gonna take all this, it's fine. We wanna start pretty fying our base, so. All right, we get some more of this. I'm gonna have two stacks of this for now. And uh, let me put some more uh, military science on the line. Cause I fucked up. All right. Yeah, pretty good so far. I don't know what the hell the problem here is, but I think it's gonna be red chips. Yeah, it's red chips guaranteed. It's always the red chips. But we did upgrade it, so we'll see. Well, let's go just check out our red chips since it's had a moment to run. Uh, why it's going so slowly? And there's any number of reasons it's going slowly. It could be the green chips, uh, which means we need more copper, which we are gonna need more copper. Um, or it could just be the fact that uh, it is actually running all the time, and it's just not getting enough copper. So. I mean, that could be the issue as well. So one thing that we could do is we can do output priority this side. Output priority that side. That way we always make sure our red chips also, uh, this red chip line will always be full, which is uh, probably not the worst idea I've ever had. Um, but it does mean like this this one green chip line will potentially not have anything, but that's okay. Because um, we also need to upgrade our copper. Copper needs to be going up as well. All right, so now that we've done with that, uh, we're gonna head back. I think I have everything I need. Fuck you, Bob. Every time. This is why. This is why I just put the repair packs away. All right, so now, uh, what do you, what do you need right now? Uh, you need iron boxes. Fuck. Why didn't I think of that when I was up there? Okay, we're going back again. 
because I'm, I'm not a very smart person and don't really equate this intuitiveness with, uh, yeah, whatever. All right. And by the way, I, I also have the fix for our compression problems for my belts. So I have the fix. So I also know how to fix that too. So that that more that and more coming coming right now actually. Fuck. I don't wanna okay, I just ran into this. Okay, now I feel like I need to repair these. Alright. Uh put that away. Well nah, we can just keep it on. Fuck it. Alright, so now it's gonna put the rest of this up. Fortunately, this is not a part of that layout. I don't know why it's not. And also this belt. Okay. Uh, how many more do we need? Two more chests? Okay. So this is now the equivalent of four red lines of, uh, uh, of um, iron ore. By the way, the crafting speed is identical. So do you notice how we have 10 furnaces here and it can support half a line of, of, iron, of, of iron ore? Um, so that's, that is a thing. Um, so now that we have electric furnaces, you've noticed that we actually don't need a fuel line. We don't need to combine it like that. So we can now make 10 lines and I'll, it will, sorry, if, if you make 10 here, sorry, okay. If you make 10 here, uh, this only needs to be half saturated, this line, which means you can make 20 furnaces and then I'll make a red belt full of um, iron ore. Um, and one red belt, equals two yellow belts. So one red belt can essentially do two sides of a 20 line furnace. Yeah, that's uh, wrap your head around that. All right, because I fucking get um, that's I'm trying to fucking explain this the best I can. But that's just how this goes. All right. So uh, there's a couple ways we have of doing this. So I think the best way is probably for me to put down uh, I, I was thinking in groups of 10 and then combining them with a splitter because when you combine when you combine um, the outputs of like this with a splitter it will then make sure it's fully compressed uh, that's one way of doing it but I think I think I just want longer lines honestly and we'll just deal with uh, the lack of compression later so we're gonna do something like this instead um, so so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Unfortunately, someone put this uh, stupid fucking thing of rocks in the way, so we can't do that. So fuck you, game. Piece of shit. Nah, it's my, my own fault. But let's just blame the game anyways, because that's what a... Uh, that's, what a, that's what a skilled gamer would do. Uh, it's never It's never your own fault. Remember that. It's always someone else's fault. Alright, that's so another 10. Alright, so now we can have a red belt going all the way up. Another thing that would be nice is probably getting some some blue belts as well. But yeah, we'll do that all in time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ta-da! Okay. So now you have one line. Going down here, so I, I can I can almost guarantee fucking to you uh, when it gets to the end of this, it's basically gonna be like, oh, I don't, I'd like it's gonna be retarded and just gonna like do its own thing. All right, so I am going to just actually just copy and paste what I did here because uh, I'm I've been doing it. actually wait did I what kind of okay now I, I did use the right ones. I don't want to. I don't want to play, place this all myself because you've already seen me do this, and I've already seen me do this. So, wait, what's the problem here? Yeah, hey, whatever. Cry some more. All right, so we're gonna do this, and this is why I actually brought the lights so I can like actually like make this adorable because that's important. I don't even know how close I have to space the lights out. Let's say every other one. Yeah. Because we want lights. We need to use these in the base so we look at it on the camera. And someone who fucking comes into part 65 of the Let's Play will go like, Holy shit, he put up lights, it looks so pretty. 
And uh, that's actually what I'll say. All right, so we got we got ourselves a nice uh, line of iron, and you can see like uh, ha these ovens already use uh, 2.1 megawatts. I think it uses more as like these lasers because they're they're always consuming something. That's how they work. I'm gonna watch out for them. So if we do one more line of this stuff, um, make a blueprint of this. If we do one more line. Uh, fuck. We do one more line of this crap. Um, and like I said, it's... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Just stop, 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 stop. I fucked you up. Okay, we cannot actually do that. Right, let's just delete some of these garbage things that we don't need. What is this? This is red chips, so let's just put this as... We're actually going to need this one. Uh, this is actually going to serve us into most of the game, so... Where is a, an icon of a red chip? Just so I know. There we go. Uh, I, I also failed to save it. There you go. And we just put that into our... Uh, I don't know if we need it in this book. Eh, whatever. We'll just put it in this book. Alright, this, uh, this is the new line. So, I, I forgot I actually have to have it on this side, too. There you go. Did I, why didn't I put it down? Okay. Why are you not putting down? Oh, because something's in the way. There's a fucking inserter down there. There's a piece of shit inserter right here that didn't get removed. It's okay, I did it myself. Alright, and we're gonna just put this guy into the big book of uh, Mike Latt's stupid shit, so... Uh, this is probably gonna utilize mostly everything, but this is why we use bots for this purpose, because... Uh, uh, what are you missing now? Okay, apparently we need more... more ovens. That's fine. But this is kind of what's required. So I currently have working the base. This is 20, 40, sorry, no, this is, yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80. What this is? This is 80 right here. But and it's like twice as big as you can see. It's huge. Or it's already huge, but that's kind of what's required of us at this stage in the game. And then what we're gonna do is after that, we're gonna make one more line. So we're gonna we're gonna copy and paste this exactly out. So once I get this up, uh, I gotta basically now change the stops over. So these kinds of stops right here need to actually change. Um, I, they won't have to change much though, fortunately for me. I think. Uh, I think we can now limit it to just one iron stop though. Luckily, um, that's kind of good for me. Lucky old me. Alright, we're going to need more fucking yellow inserters. So we're going to just do a drive-by and get some more inserters, I think, again. So that's... The, I, I, I kind of... I did I did anticipate this would be a problem. Luckily, this is almost done, too. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. This shit being almost done? Fuck yeah. Alright. We need poles as well. This is why, like, I brought everything and it still wasn't enough, because, yeah... And you know what? We're making more lines of furnaces. You think I'm fucking done? I'm not fucking done. Alright. We're not even close to fucking done. But we're gonna drive over here anyway. So let's just go get some more materials. Because I'm mad. Alright. And then we gotta stop these trains. At least the iron ones. Because we gotta make then a copper fucking bullshit thing. And then we have everything. Alright. Um... Or it's like, yeah, there's a lot to do. So, what I've almost basically completed is the equivalent of what you saw before, except not running on a freaking coal. So, yeah. So, might as well just bring more of this stuff down. Uh, might as well just bring more inserters down. I don't think we need anything else, though. Uh, I'll just say we need some stack inserters. Maybe some of these inserters, too. Why not? It's we got tons of them. I don't think I need anything else. I better not need anything else. So or else it's gonna be hell to pay. But yeah, everything on the everything in our factory is just at a standstill because we can't utilize any of this. And then we're gonna go change the stops up. So which means we have to stop the trains for iron uh, temporarily. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that once I plug it in, it, it'll be in. So. I mean, they should continue going for actually a little bit longer. In fact, I'm going to stop them right now. 
you're you're on manual now, motherfuckers. All right. So we're gonna they're gonna just unload the rest of their cargo. And this is also kind of why I changed these stops the way I did. So when I bring this over, actually, this can I think support slightly more iron. Did I? Oh my god, I don't have any fucking inserters. And I also forgot something else. Holy shit, I'm just gonna fucking edit this, maybe. I don't know. I, I forgot more stuff, so now I'm mad, so now I'm gonna go back up. Oh shit. I'm sorry, I'm dodging pipes right now. Alright. So, I may have made a slight error here. I kind of needed more... Um, so first off, I need more furnaces, obviously. Maybe we need another thing of furnaces. Yeah, like that. Alright. Uh, so we just got ourselves some more furnaces. That's the first thing we did. Uh, the second thing is we need uh, more split splitters and other good stuff like that. I don't think we need that many splitters, but I'll, I will just take a bunch. I'm just gonna take, like, a couple stacks of this shit. Yeah, I know. I know. There's a lot. We probably, we're probably, like, uh, gonna need even more than this, uh, to be p perfectly honest. Like, fucking hell. It's gonna take some more red chips. Actually, I don't even know if I need that many. Well, we'll just make more anyways, because honestly, there's no such thing as too many uh, ovens. Uh, that's what they used to say in World War II. <laughs> All right, that, but joke in poor taste. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yes, we do need we do need ovens. Purely for iron, nothing else. Nothing else at all. All right. So, this is going now. So we want to make sure that these these will work immediately. So yeah, these will just continue to run for a little while. I'm going to have these on manual as well. Because they don't need to run anymore. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just do something like this. Actually, this, this doesn't need to be. Because I'm, I'm not going to push this anymore to that side. All right, so we go like this. So as you can see, I've I've made this is going to make full red belts of iron, or like that's the plan at least. And then it's going to split it into something that makes uh, not full iron lines. So this doesn't really need to be that much. So we just do that. Um, Fortunately, I probably should have done a better job with this line. That's okay. That's what fixing this later is for. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is this shit? Alright. Looks like this will never be good. Because for some reason someone put the an oil pipe here. I wonder who did that. All right. Can you just like put everything on this line already? One second. I need to fuck. I need to use these ones. There you go, one second. I'll just get, I'll just get rid of all this stuff, because reasons. I probably should have it exiting that. There you go. See, you can you can tell it's c coming out now. Because I kind of want to have it now it go out in the other direction. Just want to get rid of this crap. And then, like, then I'll just leave it to its own devices. It was done. Holy shit. Holy shit, Stony Inconsidered Buffoon. Make everyone wait like that. Alright. Because of the lack of perfection, we've had to redo this. It's still not perfect, but that's okay. I should probably just disassemble it with bots. So yeah, they go, pr they go pretty far down, these ovens. It's kind of what's, ne it's kind of what's necessary. Alright. 
I mean, it's not really necessary to this extent that I've done it. It's just because I'm crazy. All right, there you go. So that's where one of the lines will go, and I'll split off into this, and this makes one full red belt of iron. Um, so you see kind of a pattern here. Uh, now it's going to start putting down more garbage, so let me just make sure I pick all this up. So, um, yeah, so we have, so this is a line of 40, uh, sorry, this is like uh, 10, 20, yeah, this is 40, this is 80 uh, iron furnaces, which is what we currently have. Uh, and then the plan is in the end is to make so this is unloading incredibly quickly like I've, I've, I have it unloading very fast and then it's gonna make uh, Four red belts worth of iron. So basically if there's four red belts coming off the train There's gonna be four red belts going back on the train You see and that's kind of the plan So I actually don't really care how slowly it loads and unloads. It's, it's actually not my problem. So I just kind of want to copy this over. So that's not really my issue. I don't know if I actually want it to be like, yeah, sure, we want it to be like that. That's fine. Ta-da, there you go. Another one. All right, so uh, did I actually put this layout here? Yeah, I did. So let's delete that. Um, let's just finish up this guy because it's doing its thing. Um, so as you can see, I wasn't really exaggerating with the amount of uh, ovens we're adding here. Uh, but we can at least get this going, I think. Because that's this line, though. Fuck. Poor shit. Alright. We're- I, I don't want to just- I don't want to make the rest of the iron uh, things just yet. Um, I mean, it's just going to require more furnaces, but you know, this is uh, still an experimental thing, so we want to double check it. Just make sure it all works. Alright. So, let's see, how, how are these ones going, these trains? Uh, looks like the trains have finished unloading, so we can just destroy them now. So let's go do that. It's my favorite part of the game. Uh, let's see here. I have a lot of light oil barrels. I should probably set a thing over here to empty them because we're not going to need them anymore. Uh, so actually, I'll just be right here. Where's empty? Okay, I'm just going to set like a... Uh, it's going to have to go into this chest, right? Yeah, there we go. By the way, the barrels are just fucking worthless to us now. I'm actually so sad right now. Okay, so let's uh, let's get these guys going. So you go to iron, you go to iron. These guys will offload their cargo. Let's put them on manual. All right, rest in pieces. All right, so we're gonna now head over to our next destination, which is the old ass iron patch we have here. And we're gonna set that up a little bit so that it uh, conforms better with our uh, new train layouts. So this is gonna be a bit of a faster uh, kind of place, but that's okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. What are these? I think these are iron chests, so we can just kind of make those right away. So here's the thing. Um, we don't need this anymore. Cannot insert an iron ore, player inventory is full. All right, well, just come over here. You take that for now. Because this is gonna have to change. I'm not proud of myself for what I'm about to do. Actually, no, I'm completely proud of myself. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, we're full on iron ore as well. I think the car is running out of space, I'm not going to lie. Oh well. We've been through worse. Alright, so we bring this back to the way it is. So the way, the way this kind of works out now is that this line right here 
perfectly conforms with the four length carriages that I have, and then the last one is just gonna be the train at the end. Um, so that's nice. Uh, the only thing is I need to now change this so it actually works better. Um, I'll be something like that. Uh, you know, you know, I have an idea of what to do with some of this stuff. Oh, well, it's gonna suck ass. Actually, wait, no. This is gonna be the train. It's gonna be one of the iron trains on top of that all. So we we did bring fuel, so we're gonna just put fuel into it. This is this is my way of kind of dealing with some of this stuff. I, I it's not the best way of dealing with it to be honest, but hey, you know what? I'm trying to em I'm trying to empty some fucking trains here, guys. Uh, apparently, this can use one more carriage up here, so it's fine. Just try to empty this crap because uh, I, don't, I don't want this to be full anymore. All right. Um, and then you're probably asking yourself, what the fuck am I doing? And uh, I ask myself that same question all the time, but god damn it, seriously. I just, I, I, I like symmetry, and so should you. All right, there we go. We got the rest out of that one. All right, looks like uh, looks like these are loaded all the way. So that's why we can manually bring it backwards. Uh, just slightly more. There we go. Just trying to get rid of all the garbage I have in here. I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of all of it. But we'll get rid of most of it. That's what matters. Okay, so this is how this loads up now. This is our new. This is our new loading and unloading. At least for a double station, uh, there is actually a difference. Actually, why did I even do that? There we go. Ta-da! Okay. Whoops. Uh, I think this is too far in the way. Fuck. Shit. Well, you know, I I couldn't have anticipated I was going to do this. Actually, we can kind of do this. Does this still work, though? No, it doesn't. Doesn't work at all. Fuck. Um, you fuckers need to stop. Whatever, you know, I'll just have it, you know, I, it, this works out. I'll just have it go and put things into the chest that it needs to. And we'll just work on the second one, so... Uh, same deal. I just kind of want it to be a little bit closer to down here, so. Um, so we're going to actually do this. Uh, you guys can grab whatever you want. Everything is temporary. All right. Uh, let me fast belt this. It's down there faster. We actually need two more iron chests. We actually don't have any more iron. But we do have that. And, uh... Oh, we have coal too. Excellent. Good. Poor man's uh, way of getting iron. Excellent. I love that. Excellent. A for effort. Alright, we're gonna just remove all this, because fuck this shit. Alright, actually, fuck, literally fuck all this shit. Um, wow, this is awful. I don't know what I was doing. Let me just remove all these. So let's get the balancer out again. Ah. Uh. Is this thing, uh, oh yeah, okay. Okay, so. We can still do it in pretty much the same manner though. We just need to kind of do it like that. There you go. Okay, so it kind of still works. Kind of. So we'll kind of bring this down here first. Uh, 
I regret the fact I have to do this, but sometimes uh, sometimes inefficiencies need to happen or uh, lack thereof. All right, so how? Oh, could, I had this in another belt. That's why. There you go. All right, good stuff. Not enough iron, but that's okay. Wow, that is taking a while to unload. These things didn't even fucking finish. Well, this is why we do this. I, I don't even want to look at our factory right now, because... Uh, it's probably not looking good, not gonna lie. All right, so something like that. <laughs> ah, apparently this is a thing right here. I am like the king of making things inefficient. All right, there you go. So now these are both going. They'll go as fast as humanly possible, but they will also load up extremely fast as well. I think I, oh, that's right, I remember now. I wanted to have two more belts somewhere else. Or We're almost done. Inefficiency is almost dealt with. Just gotta figure out a way to fucking get this all going. Oh, you're done. There you go, that's done too. Okay, good. Good. There you go. Very good. If you set if you set a priority, apparently that doesn't mean anything, so I thought that it wouldn't actually bunch them up here, but apparently it does bunch them up there, because I guess there's just an overabundance of the crap. Alright, so we just do that. Um I mean we could have made these red belts, but yeah. We, we didn't quite do that, did we? Alright, so let's start getting the train going. So, hey, you need to go to... Uh, I mean, there's no longer going to be a stop here, so you can just delete that. So, uh, the fruits of my labor, let's see. So instead of iron, it's going to go to iron new. Uh, and it's going to stay there until inactivity, five seconds, or... I mean, I could actually just do the... Okay, you know, we can actually do some real conditions. So we can do inventory empty. Um, or... Or time passed on 120 seconds. Remember, I always do that just to make sure that there's no incompatibilities or something. This one is also going to be until in cargo in inventory is full. So you can just go on to iron new. So we can actually just watch him go. It's actually kind of cool. I've actually never shown you this, so we'll have a look at this. Look at him go see where he stops at so this is they don't go quite as fast as some of my other trains um, obviously the threes are a little bit shorter but we'll give them better fuel later the thing the thing we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna add more trains to the line so we're gonna be fine so let's see where he goes he's going to here he's in the train yard and it looks like he stopped because uh, of reasons all right Let's go fix that up. I don't think we really need to do much more with that. We're, we'll, we'll repair the rest of it later. Uh, this is some minor repairs required to it. But yeah, our entire factory is probably at a standstill at the moment because of lack of iron. And we're going to have to do Yeah, see? No more iron. But this is kind of what was necessary in order to... Remember, our factory doesn't run upon iron. Our factory runs upon... Well, it does in, in, to some degree. The fuel cells for the nuclear reactors run upon iron, so... Okay, fine. If you want to get technical, I guess it kind of does. Panic. Panic, everyone. Fuck. We're fools. Alright, I'm going to basically... Also, I'm going to balance this line. Because that's... Uh, it only It's only eating off of one line. Alright. So, the problem here is that there's no signals. 
So I added two signals here, but I didn't add any signals up here. So the minute I add those, the block will then be free and it can go in. So let's see how it works and uh, actually add this thing too. Now mind you, adding an inactivity timer would help uh, with regards to um, some other stuff that, that, like it would help with the, the fueling of the trains, but realistically, I don't think that there have been a problem. So we have two full red belts of iron going through and then it's doing this. So actually this is kind of what this was supposed to do. We're good. Cool, you did robot worker speed. I, I actually don't know how you did that. So you're gonna see it go all the way down. Uh, but that's that's fine. Oops. Uh, here's a question. Do I wanna have the iron come up through here or come through the bottom? And the answer is going to be through the bottom, actually. So this is something else I didn't quite figure out until just now. But you can actually see like they're all they're all actually eating up all of the iron. Um Oh, and I also fucked this up, because I was fucking with it. Yeah, that's why we can't do that, anyways. So, ta-da! Now, here's the thing, if we actually had blue belts, we probably would just blue belt this over, but since we don't, uh, we're gonna have to do this, uh, like, we're poor in Irish, so. And also, we don't need this. Wow. So, as you can see, these ovens are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful ovens. And I can get rid of some more of these miners. I, I see them down out, and then I want to get rid of them. This is why we're going to eventually need to bring some more stone over, but yeah. So welcome to the new iron line. I think I'm going to want to balance it. I'm not too sure, though. Fuck you. I don't quite plan that far ahead. Uh, we'll see. All right, so do we want to bring it up through here? The answer is probably, because we need to start bringing it up into, probably there, honestly, but yeah, there's a train, there's kind of a train in the way, so. Uh, let me just deal with this one for, yeah, I'm gonna bring it from, ah, fuck it, I'll just bring it up through here. Luckily, because of the fact, that the way we've done certain things, uh, get out of the way. Because of the way we've done certain things in my factory here, um, uh, we've freed up a bunch of space because we no longer have to deal with, um, there's a lot of things we don't have to deal with anymore. So that's, that's kind of lucky for us. But we need to kind of get rid of these, uh, lines now. Now, fortunately, there's coal in every single one of these, but that's uh, just the way it's going to go. Because we no longer need this coal. Oh, cool, and we no longer need you either. All right. Just disassemble everything here. All right. We, we kind of have a problem here we need to fix, so... And for some reason, I've now decided to bring this line kind of through here. But don't worry, we have work. We have additional worker speed, so we're we're good. We're Gucci. All right, so this is going through. Because we kind of need our factory to get back online. Very fortunately for us, it's actually pretty easy for us to plug in our line again. Just kind of do this. There you go. Now we have a little bit of iron back in the factory. Just a little bit. But we don't have much use for coal anymore. Uh, at least not as far as this factory is concerned. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna need to get rid of all this crap too. I'll I'll probably stay around it at the end of the episode because uh, right now I'm a bit over time. I'm just gonna bring the last one in. So uh, while you while I'm gone, oh shit! I mean, actually, this is not really needed for anything, but that's still fine. Uh, we should still power just for the copper. Okay, 
Okay. So, these are done. Apparently, I have too much coal. But I actually, there's not much I can do on that front. Um... Because what do we need the coal for at this point? Uh, fucking nothing. Because we we're now completely at the point where we don't need this stuff anymore. So you can actually see it kind of there's there's gaps in line, and we're gonna actually have a fix for that in a bit. Because we're gonna combine it onto blue belts. But I gotta just copy this for now. If we run out of red belts. Someone's gonna pay. This might be my last thing of red belts. I'm, t I'm telling you, someone's going to pay. Probably someone like that. This is why we need... Actually, we have a ton of them. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, this is some of the cleanup parts since we've upgraded basically everything. Um, luckily, the belt's going to help us out here. Let me just make a box full of coal um, that I can put somewhere. So the bots will chase me to the ends of the earth. Oh my god. It fucking hell, the coal. Hey, come get me, bots. I dare you. Alright. So, we're gonna do something here. Yeah, they're, they're mad. They're like, F why didn't you let me get come after you, sir? Yeah, I can just drop this thing somewhere. Uh, so we don't really have a plan for how to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Um, the priority right. Uh, so the best thing we can do is just to have a box full of coal that is unloaded onto the belt with a stack inserter. And then it'll just kind of get rid of it as needed. Like I said, we're going to be doing... Uh, um, some uh, be better oil processing in a bit, and probably soon actually. It's having trouble getting rid of petroleum though. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, it's doing a good job though. I mean, uh, there's no rush on the oil stuff, uh, the oil front right now. So, I don't know if I'm gonna destroy this yet. Maybe I will destroy this. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Actually, uh, so for next time. Since you've already seen me and what exactly I'm doing here, what the plan is, uh, you're, you're, there's really no sense in me showing you the end. Re uh, the, what's going to happen? I'm just going to show you the end result of this. Um, so deal with it. I guess I don't know. Shouldn't be so rude. Sorry. Uh, so this brings it to coal. We will make the. I will show you the how to. I will. I will show you the making of the steel line though. That's that's something we will do together. Don't worry, guys. Papa, Papa Mike Lad will still do things with you guys. But it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you know what I'm doing. I'm making furnaces, copying and pasting them a couple more times. Uh, like, as you can see, there is another line here. And actually, for that matter, let's see, how does this work? It seems to work pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, it's not completely saturated yet. So let's, uh, let's get my car out there. Fuck it. Oh my god, you jerk-offs. Oh my god, they're fucking going all over the place. So essentially what it is, it's, it's cleaning up this train station. We no longer need it. Uh, we're making two additional lines of red-belted iron that's going to come to the station. Which means we may need to tap into that one. I'm not sure yet. Um, well, we'll see how many trains we need. I don't. I think we may need another one. We may need another one. Just one, though. Uh, and the idea is I'm going to actually balance it at the end there. and We'll see how it goes. Um, and then I think, I think the four lines will maybe be enough, at least for now. We'll have to see, but you're going to, you know, you can kind of tell what I'm doing. How many more ovens do I have? I have uh, 34 more, so it's basically not enough for a lot of what I want to do, but we've basically weaned our defense on oil and, and now we're completely on nuclear. So that's kind of nice. So let's go fix this up and then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I'll fix the rest of it off screen and then uh, and then we're good to go. So this this went much faster than I thought it would. Uh, it went much faster actually.
There you go. That's kind of all that's needed. Actually, I, I kind of hate the squiggle that I did here, so let's just fix it up with something a little bit different. All right, so I did wait for the timer eventually to go, but I kind of knew that this would eventually become a problem, but yeah. So this is very simple to fix, by the way. Uh, we just do deconstruct a planner. Oh, hey, this entire station gets to go to hell. Goodbye, station. Oh, shit. Uh, goodbye, power. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, nothing else required here. Everything else is good. And so, this is going to up our power requirements quite a, quite a bit, actually. Alright, that's it. So, uh, as you can see, fully saturated lines. And next time, uh, so as you can see, more iron coming into the station. We're, uh, next time, I'll have another row of furnaces, then also copper for uh, copper line also coming down the pipe. And after that, I don't really know. Uh, so, yeah, take care. Goodbye.